Let's move on to all the stories. The prevalence of building collapse in the country has come under serious scrutiny following the report of three more of such incidents recently in Onisha, Anambra State. Few days after the governor, Willie Obiano, banned the construction of story buildings in the state to avert further occurrences, the Director General Standards Organization of Nigeria has embarked on a tour of the sites. He cited the use of substandard materials as well as unqualified professionals as some contributory factors and promised that the agency would do all it can to curtail this trend. This site once had a four-story building on it, which belonged to the Watchman Charismatic Renewal Movement of the Catholic Church. Construction of the building started a year ago. Today, it's been reduced to rubble after a collapse. Luckily, no life was lost. I cannot even be able to explain what happened. I think the engineer should be in a better position to explain because I'm not an engineer by profession. That uh, the likely cause might be the soil, yes, of which uh, we intend that whatever we're going to do here again, there must be a soil test. The Standards Organization of Nigeria's fact-finding visit took the team to another site in Oduakbu also in our nature, where this collapse occurred. The building said to be the property of St. Christopher's Anglican Church claimed four lives at the point it came down. None of them has said this is the cause of the something. So um, for me, I cannot tell you this is the okay. cause. I know that what we were asked to provide for the building, we provided everything. The last port of call was this site on Udi Street, where this collapse was reported. The Director General who led the team at this juncture bemoaned the attitude of building contractors and manufacturers to safety standards. I think the point is that people need to know what materials to buy, where to buy them, and how to ensure that they've bought the right one. The message to those who are not doing the right thing or who do not want to do or who are too commercial orientated that it's all about money is that their days are numbered and we must go beyond just seizing products and destroying them. We want to begin to prosecute people. While appealing to the public to be mindful of the standards of materials they buy for building construction, the DG also acknowledged the measures introduced by Governor Obianu in checking this menace.